In this tutorial we will see how to export planet in the Unreal Engine. So first I uh, just uh, I've loaded one of my presets here and I will choose uh, which uh, resolution I will use for the, the planet. Um, for that I will go to uh, edit options uh, output and I can change my uh, render size over here. So I can go up to 16K by 8K if I uh, have the Pro DLC. Here in this case, I will just uh, select uh, 4K by 2K. And once you've uh, chosen the, the resolution and uh, maybe the anti-aliasing, uh, then you can in the channels here, see what you will export. So you have uh, Unreal 4 uh, preset here and uh, the the Unreal 4 preset will export the albedo, the roughness, ambient occlusion, the normal, um, the cloud, uh, the rings and uh, the emissive if there's any emissive. So in this case uh, there are some stuff that I don't want to export so um, most of them will not be exported if not present i mean uh, if you don't have clouds it will not export the cloud texture if there's no ring the, the the ring texture will not be exported the water is a special case because the water uh, you can have either regular water um, and you can have uh, emissive water uh, when you have uh, lava pits and uh, stuff like that on your planet then it's emissive water what i have here is no water so i will just use the albedo ground and water so the the color of the water is included in the albedo same goes for normal if i have some emissive stuff then i can uh, keep the water times uh, water alpha checked and it will be the emissive uh, channel. Here I just uncheck that I don't want to export it, I will not use it. So for uh, Unreal 4, I got all this, it's okay. Um, I've chosen my resolution, so it's good. So once I've done that, I can just uh, regenerate in uh, HD, so it will recompute in uh, 4K by 2K. So you see that there's, uh, there's more uh, details than before. And then I will export my, uh, my planet. So it's just uh, showing that the channel output is Unreal 4. And um, you can see that I can still change my output over here. Then I choose my uh, file format which is uh, PNG here, like it can be TGA if you want. Then the normal format, OpenGL or uh, DirectX. In Unreal 4, you have to use a DirectX format, but it's not really a big deal for Unreal, as you can uh, flip the Y axis of your uh, normal very easily in the engine. But if you don't want to, to tweak that, just use the DirectX uh, format. Um, and the uh, output UV format is uh, just if you want to export in one large rectangular map or two square maps. You can choose also to export the planet geometry, uh, rig geometry, and um, maybe you want to decimate the planet to reduce the geometry load. But um, it has no meaning over here. Well, it's not it's not really useful over here because my planet is just perfectly round. I don't use displacement in, in this case. Uh, it really makes sense to use the decimation when you have uh, a displacement uh, planet uh, that will just optimize the geometry depending on the on the geometry on the displacement of the of the planet. Uh, you can uh, just uh, tweak the quantity of polygons you want uh, just by changing in the in the global uh, tab you can change the um, geometry density uh, by default it's something uh, in uh, in middle and you can reduce it or increase it depending on your needs but in this case i just want to export the basic planet geometry uh, makes no decimation no reduction uh, and 
So that's how I will put my decimation level to zero. If I want to do a decimation, I will increase the slider here and it will reduce the number of polygons. I then choose the, the name of my uh, file. So it will be called Arrange uh, UE for Unreal Engine. And um, I just press OK. It will just export all my textures. So I have all my textures exported here. I got the albedo, ambient occlusion, normal map, roughness, and then my object uh, file and uh, material file. So all of this can be used directly in uh, Unreal Engine. So uh, I'm good here. If I want to uh, use displacement, I can export also the 8 map. It's not the case here. I, it's, it's just a completely flat planet, but you can uh, you can displace it if you want and do some uh, tessellation, etc. So I'm leaving uh, Grand Designer and starting uh, the Unreal Engine. So in Unreal, I will just create an empty uh, level here an empty project I will call it simple planet uh, with nothing basically no starter content uh, nothing okay once the project is loaded I will just uh, in the content drag drop all my files and import the geometry so you have to be careful for the ambient occlusion and the roughness. So just double click on the file and uncheck the sRGB because it's a linear texture, as I told you. And once you have unchecked that, just click on save. And same goes for the roughness. Just uncheck it and save. So now you can just uh, drop the model over here. I will remove that and increase the scale to have a bigger planet. This. It has already assigned the, um, the albedo uh, thanks to the MTL file, but you have to do the other files yourself the other texture yourself so I'm just editing the material here so you see it's just uh, the albedo that is linked uh, then you can take the normal and put it in the normal uh, slot the um, ambient occlusion goes the ambient occlusion and uh, roughness well, it goes to the roughness and that's it you have your uh, your planet and then uh, well you can improve that by adding uh, atmosphere or uh, stuff like that you can check the sample uh, provided uh, with uh, Grand Designer, uh, which has uh, lots of different materials with uh, uh, clouds, uh, atmosphere, uh, displacement, etc. Just to check um, the different option you have to create your material. But you already have something uh, quite clean and nice uh, with just the, the four uh, texture uh, linked correctly. If you have an emissive uh, layer of uh, water like uh, lava etc just uh, link that to the the em emissive part and uh, you can maybe multiply it but by, by a certain amount if you want really to make it glow uh, there's also a sample for that in the in the sample scene just uh, check it and you will see it's very easy to use <laughs>